Particle 3. In this lesson, we will explain the usage of the particle O. The pronunciation of the particle O in modern Japanese is the same as O, but when used as a particle, it is represented by the character O. In English, the particle equivalent to the Japanese particle O is typically represented by the particle O in the romanized form. However, it's important to note that the direct translation of the particle O doesn't exist in English because the grammatical structure and usage of particles differ between the two languages. The function of the particle O is usually conveyed through the word order or the choice of prepositions in English sentences. Here are a few examples. Object marker. The particle O marks the direct object of a verb in Japanese. In English, the word order typically places the direct object after the verb. For example, I eat fish. I read a book. Sakana o taberu. Hon o yomu. Direction marker. The particle O indicates the direction of movement in Japanese. In English, this is often expressed using prepositions like to or toward. For example, I walk in the park. I leave the house. Range marker. The particle O can indicate the range or extent of an action or state in Japanese. In English, this is often expressed using prepositions like throughout or including. For example, throughout the day, including everyone. Target marker. The particle O can mark the target or object of a specific action or emotion in Japanese. In English, this is often conveyed through the choice of prepositions. For example, I trust him. I enjoy music. It's important to remember that the usage of particles in Japanese and the corresponding expressions in English may vary depending on the specific context and sentence structure.